on today's episode of Good Time with the Government, we're going to make a tail. In the crock pot, baby. Let's go. Life is good. Hold up. Wait a together. That's what we believe here in um, Good Times with the Goodmans. It's always good to keep your children and kids in as well too. You need to learn so they get older to be able to cook for themselves and stuff, you know? Ain't that right guys? <laughs> you to cook for yourself when you get older? Yeah. Alright, so for all that being said, let's get started! Yeah! Alrighty, we're going to start mixing these nice oxtails that we have here all the marinade that we need to make. Um, oxtails was washed and cleaned three times with vinegar and water as well. And we're going to start adding all our ingredients and mixing everything together. Okay? Alright, so now the first, give me onions. Onions here. Wow! Alright, give me green onions. Habanero peppers. Wow! So most people use Scotch bonnet peppers, um, <laughs> but I do have Scotch bonnet. Um, what is that? Uh, what is it? Uh, I do have Scotch bonnet hot pepper sauce here. So we might put a little dash of that as well. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Put some bell pepper. Oh, okay. Here. This? Uh -huh. Wow! Good job, Kate. Okay. So here we have green seasoning. We're going to put about two teaspoons of green seasoning in here. Green seasoning has um, scotch bonnet peppers also in it too. Um, it's got a combination of other seasonings as well. Oh! <laughs> here on the government, going to be fully transparent, okay? So, we're not going to really measure some ingredients because our ancestors are going to speak to us and let us know when to stop. Um, so, we're just going to do what we got to do, but definitely it's going to be tasty. It's going to be tasty because the ancestors never let us down, right? Okay. Never let us down, okay? okay. All right, here I got some garlic here. Ooh. Yummy garlic. I'm going to take about two tablespoons of garlic as well. Also, oxtails, a lot of these ingredients contain salt, so we're going to be very careful with some of these ingredients. Uh. Each one of these ingredients contains some type of salt there, so we're going to be very careful with that as well, so we're not going to go overboard with that, okay? Okay. Here we have some um, soy sauce, which can be salty as well. I'm just going to take a little, little couple of dabs of that. Say dabs of that. Dabs of that. Mm -hmm. Here we have Grace Browning sauce. Okay. We'll put a little bit of that in there. That's about um, about a tablespoon or so of browning sauce in there. We do have 10 pounds of oxtails, okay? 10 pounds of oxtails. Here we have Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, AKW sauce. We'll put a little bit of that as well in there. Just a little bit. Okay. Dab, dab. Oh, 
dab. Mm -hmm. Little dab up with shisha sauce. Okay. Here we have tomato paste. Tomato paste. Some people like to use ketchup as well. We're going to put about two teaspoons of that as well in there. Of unsalted tomato paste. Okay. Here we have some allspice. Spice. We'll be very careful with this as well. A little, a little whistle. A little, a little bit more, more child. child. Right, that's, that's enough. enough. Ashley just told me to stop. Remember that little whistle. You gotta remember. Here we have some adobe seasoning, all seasoning here. I never used this a day in my life. We're gonna try it today. A little, a little sprinkle dazzle there. Not too much, guys. Not too much. We don't want to overdo it, remember, okay? Mm -hmm. Not too much. Not too much. A little bit of slap your mama. Say, slap your mama. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. Yes. Don't do that, okay? Stay. A little bit of that. Make sure you listen to your answers, man. You're going to need a good little bit of that, child. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. We're going to put a good bit of that. And probably it's not really salty. Hey, all right, that's, that's good, good, sir. That's good. We'll make it snow there. A little bit of garlic powder. Just a little bit. Just a little bit there. A little bit of garlic powder there. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Good onion powder. We have some saison by Goya. We're not going to put the whole packet in there. Like I said, we want to be careful with the salt. So we're probably just going to put about, about half a packet there. Now, we do a little packet. We do have 10 pounds. We'll use a little packet every time. Now, we're going to add some brown sugar. Just a little bit of brown sugar, though. Gives a good color. Wow. Well. Let's cut the salt down a little bit. Put a little more. A little bit more. All right, as I said. A little pinch more. Mm. Then we're gonna crack some. Sorry about that. We're gonna crack some um, black pepper, some fresh, say black pepper. Mm -hmm. Make sure you crack it low. Black pepper is very dangerous on the eyes. We're gonna add a little bit of this. Um, we are from New Orleans. Uh, Scotch bonnet, pepper sauce. That's the little bit, though, okay? okay? We like spicy food here. Gah! Yucky, daddy! Dangerous. dangerous. So let's go put this a little, just a little bit in there, okay? Huh? Remember, the, the green sauce has that too. Okay? Mm. That's a little bit. Alrighty. Now we're gonna add our thyme. What thyme at? This is thyme, okay? Thyme. Put the thyme in. Let's sure. go put the thyme in now, nice and whole like this that. This one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we're gonna mix everything together, okay? The reason why I got gloves on, like I say, some of these things are very hot. Um, so you wanna be very careful with some of these things. We'll get a little messy as well, so we're gonna mix all these things together. And uh, let y'all know everything turn out. Alright? All right, let's get the mixing of all the ingredients. Mix, mix, mix. Uh -huh. All right, now we're gonna start browning. Start browning our oxtails on both sides. Put a little bit of butter and some olive oil. We'll start flipping these guys. It's been about five minutes. If you 
you notice these oxtails really don't have that much fat on it, which is very good. You know, that's a little, little, little bit of fat, which we'll probably go ahead and keep. But these oxtails are very, very, very meaty, though. Very meaty. All right, so we'll go ahead and let that do that for about another five minutes. And then we we'll take them out and we we'll throw them in a crock pot and add the rest of the ingredients. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> Alrighty, so in that same pot, we're gonna make it like a little small room. I guess you can see a little small little room. We'll put the rest of the marinade in the pot first. Take get all that seasoning. I mean, we're all doing this recipe inside a crock pot, so it's gonna be a little different than y'all guys might be used to. Alright, we'll get all that loving in there. All that loving. Raise the temps up a little bit. So we're gonna dust this with some flour. Put a little flour in there. Not too much, just to thicken it up some. Alrighty, I got this. About the consistency I want, pretty thick. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some brief broth to it. with the salt so we didn't put that much salt in in the very beginning the chicken belong has salt in it as long with the beef stock beef stock don't have that much salt but it does have a little salt in it as well I'm gonna top that off with a little bit of water make sure we cover everything nice and neat Pretty much it, guys. Mm. We're just gonna cover this. I'm gonna let this cook for three weeks, okay? okay. Three weeks, we'll let this cook. By the time then, it's a meat of pepper rice. The big rice in your mouth. So, we'll cook about, about three weeks on high heat. And uh, we'll be back in three weeks to let y'all know, guys, know how it is. Ah. 
So we'll cook this about seven hours on high. Uh, make sure we store it every now and then as well too. And I'll uh, let y'all guys know the results after. So about seven hours, okay guys? We see you later, we'll be back, okay? Okay, alrighty. Yummy. All right, you guys, we are back. We're about halfway through these guys here. We um already skimmed all the excess fat and oil that was at the top. So I'm simply just holding it down like this and disposing the oil. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Might just want to keep just a little tad of that in there for flavoring. But everything else, man, we're looking pretty good here. We're looking pretty good. The ancestors haven't let us down at all. You know, with the flavoring and seasoning. This is our first time doing this, so. You know, stepping out your comfort zone, trying new seasonings that you haven't tried before. You know, I did try a load of them this time. So, it's always good to learn, you know. I've been doing this chef deal for a while now. You know, I used to do it professionally. I don't do it professionally no more, but things have changed. We're getting back in this kitchen now. We're getting back to the roots. We'll keep on grinding, bringing up more cooking with the Goodmans, on good time with the Goodmans. And we're gonna try to bring out new things that y'all, we can learn together. That's what you know. It's 2121. 2021. We're we'll gonna learn together, you know. So, I'll let these guys finish cooking on down. I did taste the gravy. The gravy is excellent, delicioso, popovo. Gracias, more bien. I know that makes no sense, but hey, it doesn't matter. There's no these things all the chain. But we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Recipe is kid approved. Yummy, yum! Mm -hmm. Yummy! Alrighty, guys, that is it. I have my beautiful oxtails here. Nice, beautiful brown gravy with pineapple infused cornbread. Don't ask me about it. My ancestors gave me an idea, so. Decided to put pineapple on the cornbread and it turned out delicioso. So, um, yeah, so this is gonna be the first video of the new year. Appreciate everybody in there keeping up with us and watching us as well. We know we're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and on TikTok. So make sure you follow us on all four of those platforms. We try to release new videos every Friday on um, YouTube and on Facebook for sure, and sometimes on Instagram. But this is cooking with the government, and this is good time with the government. So make sure you have a blessed New Year's. May everybody have a nice 2021. You no, know, 2020 wasn't too good. Pretty much anybody. Some people, but not everybody. So let's wish them good vibes for the future. Let's eat. I don't even need tea. I don't know why I'm going to go ahead and take these out. But this is scrumptious, man. <laughs> Good vibes, man. Good vibes for everybody. Y'all be blessed. I'm about to finish this. My little cooks went to sleep already. Well, this is what it is. Wife is behind the camera today. My time to shine. Hello. Have a good New Year's, everyone. Yeah, I'll shine with the smoothie video. It's <laughs> my turn now. <laughs> but 
But the wife did make the cornbread with the pineapple in it. You know, like I say, this came to my mind. I'm like, let's, let's put some pineapple in the cornbread. And I'm like, she was like, man, well, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it is good, it's delicious. But, um, that is delicious. It's really delicious. You just came up with it really on the spot. But, it's totally good. Good old red and wine, you know. It's pretty good. Oh yeah. See you guys. Hey, goodbye again.